Welcome back. The Tammy Allen collection in Grand Junction, Colorado includes some rare two-seat American sports cars from the 50s. And no, I'm not talking about Thunderbirds or Corvettes. Now here's something interesting. This is a very rare piece, Bob. A Nash Healy. And thanks to an email from Steve Parsons, we can tell you that this car resulted from a chance meeting between Nash President George Mason and Donald Healy on board an ocean liner. From 1951 to 54, they built these using the Nash Ambassador engine and driveline in a Healy chassis. Uh, one of these finished third overall in the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1952. Top speed, 140 miles an hour. They make a good point, uh, Mike. You know, Donald Healy apparently was hoping to use Cadillac power, but apparently bumped into the AMC of the Nash man, and that's the result of, well, the result of that is the uh, 252 cubic inch Le Mans dual jet fire with two one-barrel carburetors coming off the side. This actually predates the Corvette's triple side draft carburetors by two years. And in fact, when you think about it, this really was America's first post-war sports car. As you said, predating the Corvette, came along before that. In fact, this car was restyled. This is the body style they came out with in 1952. And this one shows very well. You see all the documentation in the back, all the manuals, all the stuff in the side. And I haven't seen a lot of these, but I can tell you, this one absolutely looks beautiful on stage. And of course, like the Nash Metropolitan of, of similar period, these cars were built in England. Now we're at 57,000, and, and let's put this combination into perspective. This is before the small block Chevy came along in 1959, and the Cadillac V8, as used by Sidney Allard, Briggs Cunningham, and others, was the premier performance V8 of the day. So this was quite a jump using the Nash power plant here, and it results in a very unique but very capable sports car. 60,000 out of the people get about a 60,000 out of it, and 57,000 out of it, 60,000 out of it, last and final call. Out of a 60,000 out of the people get 16 now, too. Out of a 62, two, Timmy, and 60,000 out of two, 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 and 60 grand and two, and 60 grand and two, Timbo, but get about a bit, two, but a moment, get about a bit, two, but a moment, get about a last and final call, and it is 62. Thanks for your help, and I have 62, and 62, and 62, two, but get two. So, Pat. Murphy, $60,000. Nice buy on a very rare car. I like that a lot. How about a Kaiser Darren? These have been a bit of a hit recently. Well, this car has a lengthy explanation, and it produced quite a few emails like this one. This car is represented as 125 horse, but all Darrens used a 90 horsepower engine and uh, this fellow maintains a roster of all Darren production. They've located 401 of the 435 cars. However, we're told the McCullough Supercharger plant was just down the road from Darren studio and that at least two of these cars were supercharged and thus the 125 horsepower designation. Yeah, and they don't know which two were. As a result, the guy who does this car, his name is Bob Adams, actually lives in the Scottsdale area, a few years ago started getting into the business of restoring these, and he makes a lot of the parts by hand because they are so hard to come by. He decided to make this what Dutch Darren would have built when he put the supercharger on. This is a spectacular car. Of course, the most distinctive thing about these are these pocket doors, these sliding doors that uh, Dutch Darren actually, I believe he got the patent on those back in 1946. Beautiful car, shows well. This is, uh, this is more than Dutch Darren imagined. Yeah, we That's do know that this is number 26 of the 435, and the fellow who emailed us, Jim Lape, says the first 50 cars are different enough from the others that most parts don't interchange. Well, I can imagine Dutch Darren never thought the car would sell for $200,000. Coming up, Tammy Allen reveals future plans for her car collection. I have plans to build a museum. 